Welcome back to the Viking Yacht Company. A little over a month ago, we brought you in to introduce the V46. And today, we'd like to bring you to the second chapter of the V46. And that is the actual making of all the molds, the plugs, and the tooling. And you were able to hear last time from Lonnie Rutt, our Vice President of Design and Engineering, and David Wilson, who heads up our design group. This time, you're going to hear from another group of people. Bill Hall does all the planning and does all of the scheduling for all of the tooling. Chris Babick, who does all of the plant maintenance of making and framing out and doing all the support for the molds and the plugs. You're also going to hear from Bob Keller, and uh, he'll explain to you exactly what he does to make all of the molds. And the greatest thing, it's not about one person here at the Viking Yacht Company, it's about this whole group of people. These boat builders, the shipwrights, mold makers, everything. The job that they do is incredible, and that's something that we will see as we go on with each episode of our story that we're gonna tell you about on the V46. One of the first steps when we take the models from our design teams is to develop our platforms and EPS foam blockups. We use these to create the shapes that become the final products. My name is Bill Hall, manager of new product development, and today we'll discuss how our thoughts and ideas are transformed into our largest Valhalla to date. From hulls to helm pods, the new product development team and R&D work closely to develop 150 plus molds for the new groundbreaking V46 Valhalla. Once we develop our blockups from the design models, we need to start creating our programs. Our CNC programmers create thousands of lines of code, feed them into our controller to operate the five axis. The five axis is really just a large robot being programmed to follow the shapes over top of the tools. So we have two large five axis CNCs. The DMS, our smaller machine, can handle the bulk of the parts of the boat. We're talking smaller parts like lids, doors, helm pods, things of that nature. Our second larger machine, the PAR, handles hulls, decks, stringers, and all the large parts of the tooling process. Our CNC machines use a variety of cutting tools, dozens to get through each model, ranging from two inch ball mills for rough cuts to quarter inch end mills for finish cuts. Many of these tools are custom designed for our applications. Once we're done with the CNC stage, we then use a 3D scanner to ensure the accuracy of our molds. After the rough cut, we apply an epoxy tooling paste. We allow it to cure, and then we move on to our final cut. Our GM of plant engineering, Chris Babick, will elaborate in further detail about our CNC machines. Two of the advantages that the, the whole five axis program has helped us with is to be able to develop new models faster. Uh, in addition, uh, we can do a lot more organic shapes. So if it can be, if it can be designed in the computer, it can physically be cut with the machine. In the past, we were limited to what a carpenter could physically build out of wood and carve out of foam. My name is Chris Babick. I'm the plant engineering manager for Viking Yachts and Valhalla Boat Works. One of the unique things about the five axis is the number of axes that it can physically move in. It runs on rails in one direction, then there's a bridge that it can move in the, in the opposite direction, then a boom which allows it to run in the vertical direction. In addition, it has a wrist that can turn and twist. So virtually any piece of a mold could be cut in one operation using the same machine. The larger the two machines, 60 feet by 20 foot by 10 foot envelope, was made by PAR Company. And when we first put the PAR machine in, everyone told us that we wouldn't be using it enough to, to really even justify that machine. And what happened is we were using that machine so much and we had that 60 foot by 20 foot envelope that we were using to cut smaller parts. We actually needed to get a smaller machine in order to handle those, those parts. Our second machine is a DMS with a 20 foot by 10 foot by five foot envelope, which cuts all of the smaller molds for the boats, hatches, lids, boxes, and smaller parts for the boat. One of plant engineering's responsibilities is for machinery to support R&D and new product development. We're also responsible for moving all of these large parts 
We have dedicated crews and specialized equipment for moving molds up to 53,000 pounds. Our other responsibility is building the structures for the molds to keep the mold perfectly rigid during production. If the mold isn't perfectly rigid and it twists even a tiny bit, the part will pre-release from the mold. And then it creates a lot of secondary processing of sanding, board sanding, and patchwork afterwards. So it's really important that that mold stays completely rigid. In the drawing behind me, this is an example of over 8,000 pounds of steel that was added to this particular mold to keep it rigid. Bill came out of the steel industry, so when he started building the molds, he knew they had to be perfectly rigid, so he started adding steel. And we've been doing that for 50 years now. We were one of the early companies that actually started to turn our molds. This turning rig can raise, lower, and turn 360 degrees up to a 26,000 pound mold. By being able to turn the mold, one, they don't have to build scaffolding in it, and two, they don't have to walk on or touch areas that they've already laminated. And now, Bob Keller will explain how the R&D department finishes the plugs and creates the molds for production. This is a total team effort. We have a very experienced R&D department, which includes 40 talented carpenters, fiberglass craftsmen and foremen, many of them which have been at Viking for decades. We're responsible for the overall development of the plugs and molds. They represent the shapes that are used for the final part of the boat, so they must be absolutely perfect. Like the plugs, the molds are highly specialized structures, so we use specific type of gel coat, fiberglass, and resins. Preparing the mold is another critical process. To ensure the integrity of the surface, we only hand sand the mold. They're brought up to a high gloss finish using a series of compounds. Once our job is done, production takes over and seals and waxes the mold. I would like to thank you for joining us today on the V46 in our R&D group. And I would also like to tell you, stay tuned because we're already working on a fishability report and also releasing the boat to production. So there's a lot of neat stuff to come and stay tuned.